Taylor Barra is a 21-year-old senior majoring in health promotions at the University of Georgia. She registered when she was just a freshman. Three years later, she was a match. So when I came to UGA my freshman year, I heard about this girl who needed a bone marrow transplant, so I went and got put on the registry, and they like uh, do a cheek swab to see if you're a match. And I wasn't a match for her, unfortunately, but um, three years later, so this past March, I was contacted about being a potential match. Taylor flew to Washington, D.C. the summer to have her surgery. She spent two days and one night in the hospital where she donated 1.3 liters of her bone marrow. Her recovery process was stressful at first. The biggest thing is just you just like you have no energy and you don't. But after a month it goes by, um, you feel great and it's a great sacrifice to save someone's life. So it was totally worth it. Seventy percent of people diagnosed with blood cancers or blood disorders do not have matches in their own family. They rely on an organization called Be The Match to add strangers like Taylor to a registry using a simple process. The process just involves filling out some paperwork and then you swab your cheek with a Q-tip and you can join if you're between the ages of 18 and 44 and in general good health. Lauren is hoping for about 50 or more people from the community to come out and register at this drive today in hopes that they will match a patient. We have a 1 in 540 chance of ever matching anybody, but chances are if you do get found as a match for someone, you're the one person in the world who can save that patient's life. Summer, mm -hmm. Taylor <laughs> was that one person. Just the best experience I've ever had. and. Uh, it's just really rewarding because you're really saving someone's life. At the Marrow Donor Registry, hope others feel the same way Taylor did. Janae James, Grady News Source.